Hi there, folks. This is Levi Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B plus RV specialists. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. I will put a direct link to this particular RV in the description below. If you click on this link, uh, you will be able to go directly over to our website to see what the pricing is on this unit. We are a full service dealer. We do offer warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions on those, please call my brother Luke in our office at 419-899-2020. All right, folks, we are inside of this Road Trek 190 Versatile. As always, I am going to start at the front, make my way to the back of the coach, then come back towards the front, try to get you a few different angles of the inside of this RV so you can get a feel for the space as well as the overall condition of this unit. This is the 190 Versatile floor plan. Uh, it has had some uh, modifications done to it by the previous owner. I will show you those as we go through this coach. Passenger seat fabric all looks in pretty nice shape there. We got our control center up here on the side cabinet. Oak cabinetry all the way throughout. Uh, this has the optional extra storage area behind the driver's seat. Uh, the other option would have been another passenger seat that would sit there. Uh, but this owner chose to go with the wardrobe storage compartment driver's seat uh, upholstery all still in pretty good shape as well and coming back into the back of the coach one of the modifications that they made uh, this this jump seat that's behind the passenger seat has been removed to make it a little easier and more accessible to get in and out of this coach just a big uh, area there And up here on the cabinet, like I said, we've got our control center. Remote start switch for our Onan 2800 generator. Has 158 hours. This switch is for your porch light. Hot water heater switch. Levels gauges. Water pump. And your battery disconnect. Show you the inside of this wardrobe. Uh, pretty good size wardrobe gives you a lot of room to hang your clothes up if you'd like uh, If you are able to locate one of the seats, this could pretty easily be removed and the seat installed As you can see the seat belt is still there in the corner Kitchen area down bottom refrigerator that is a three-way refrigerator that will run on 110 volt electricity 12 volt electricity or propane gas We have a stack of owner's manuals, all in a three ring binder there. Single basin kitchen sink, tear burner cooktop with stainless backsplash all the way around the cooktop there. Makes it easy to clean up after you're done cooking. Microwave. Got a fan over top your range there. The road tracks use a window style air conditioner, as you can be seen right there. Uh, the one nice thing about using a window style air conditioner is you can pretty much go to Lowe's Menards anywhere um, if you ever have to replace that air conditioner in the future. It's not a $1,000 uh, air conditioner like on some of your other coaches. You can go into Lowe's or Menards, Home Depot, pick one of those up for $150 or so and a little labor slap it back in there and you're all good to go. Uh, this air conditioner, not to make you think it's bad, it is in uh, just fine working condition now. I'll just give you a little uh, tip on that, knowledge on that. Uh, previous owner removed the original TV and installed this flat screen on this swivel mount here. Uh, you can watch this while you're laying in bed. You can also swivel it towards the front of the coach. So if you were sitting up front with the front chair swiveled, you could still watch that TV. Another modification is they removed the uh, dinette or seating area in the rear and chose to opt in as a uh, full-time bed no making the bed up or down. Uh, you've always got your bed ready to go when it's time to go to sleep. Crawl back here and go to sleep. What did one toilet say to the other toilet? 
you look a little flushed. Remote for our TV, thermostat for our propane furnace. The Road Trek always uses the wet style bath. Uh, we've got the fantastic fan in the ceiling, then you can see the shower curtain track going around that. Um, I'll open the shower door here in a second to show you the inside of the shower, but you're going to pull the shower curtain around that track. Uh, you can turn the fantastic fan on to exhaust the steam and uh, moisture or vapor if you would like to, but essentially you stand in the aisle to take that shower. You're going to stand right here, pull the curtain around you, and uh, then take your shower right there. Got a shower drain. This whole entire gray area is a large molded fiberglass shower pan. Uh, everything will run right to that shower. When you get done, get dried off, take your towel that you just used, wiped up, wipe up the uh, water on the floor, and you are all ready to go to bed or go back to camping. Opening up the closet here, you can see we've got the toilet, the shower valve with the hose running up to the shower head. This is a 1997. Uh, it's in fairly decent condition. It is definitely not uh, definitely not a cream puff by any means. Uh, exterior shows a few flaws here and there. Um, paint wise, you know, there's some paint chips and things of that nature. Uh, we've got a, a ding or a dent on the passenger's rear corner. Uh, just a few things on the outside uh, that, that do definitely show its age. Um, the inside, it cleaned up fairly decent. Uh, the modifications to most people will uh, deduct some uh, points, which I will do for that. Um, this is the Dodge 3500 chassis with the 5.2. Uh, the 5.2 is pretty well known to be one of the better and more bulletproof motors that uh, Chrysler had put out over the years. But overall, and taking into consideration the age and the miles and things of that nature, um, I'd put this coach around a six and a half to a seven. Uh, fairly clean inside with some uh, exterior flaws. If you have any questions on this one, give us a call at Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976. All right, folks, I'm going to run you around the outside of this coach. We are 19 and a half feet from bumper to bumper. We have four brand new tires. We have a 10 and a half foot awning. This is on the Dodge 3500 chassis. Has the 5.2 liter V8. The silver vent there is the vent for your propane furnace. Vent and access to your hot water heater. Spare tire is mounted on the rear door. You do have the tow package. Your generator is tucked up underneath behind the hitch there uh, where your spare tire typically would be. Does have the Onan 2800 generator. Gas tank door, vent for your refrigerator, storage compartment, we've got the shore power cord, it's the black cord, uh, white hose, we've got an outside shower, as well as our city water hookup right there, a decent sized little storage compartment, and underneath the driver's step, we've got your sewage dumps as well as your propane tank which is a brand new tank that was installed by my guys